So I guess I was right about the partial nudity thing. Boys locker room? Just following the assignment. Okay. See this bench press? Mm -hmm. The summer I had decided to really dedicate myself to basketball, my dad told me that I was way too skinny to ever be a great player. He said I wasn't tough enough, I wasn't strong enough. So to prove him wrong, I spent every single day in this weight room. It's like a thousand degrees in here, but I wasn't gonna let him be right. Anger's motivation. Well, anger and inspiration. Every time I benched another 10 pounds, I scratched two letters into the plate. What is it? P.S.? It was the same summer we started dating. We were pretty good together, weren't we? Give me your hand. Okay. I want you to feel this. Jeez, what happened? I broke that knuckle, punching something after we'd broken up for like the 20th time. We were horrible together. Yeah, I know. I, I was kind of hoping you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, she very nice. High five. I like you. Do you like me? I like sexy time explosion. <laughs> I've walked into a hundred enemy gyms, thousands of fans screaming at me, taunting me. I never flinched. I just take it all and light them up. No fear. It's, uh, <laughs> Thought of being a father it scares the hell out of me. Well, I hope in ten years Haley's got a bunch of platinum albums. My dad learns how to be a good grandparent. My mom's alive and sober, and uh, hopefully my son will have a killer crossover dribble. Okay, but the question is about you, doofus. Where do you plan to be in 10 years? I know, but uh, if everybody else's dreams come true, then I'll be fine. Nate, I think it's great that you take care of Haley and that you're worried about your family, but if you don't start putting yourself first every once in a while and chasing your own dream, then I'm scared you're going to wake up one day and have to wonder what could have been. Like Dan. Don't be haunted like that, Nate. My mom tried to kill herself. What? She took a bunch of her pills. I haven't told anybody. Just Haley. Nathan, I'm so sorry. The worst part about it is when I found out that she might die, there's a moment, just a fraction of a second, where I actually felt relieved. Like maybe it was for the best. You believe that? A kid actually feeling relief at the thought of losing his mother? Okay, um... What kind of person does that make me, Peyton? That I can feel that. I can't whistle. Nothing. That's terrible. <laughs> How can you not whistle? I know, okay, I'm pathetic. <laughs> Take off your shirt. Wow, just like the old days. Stop it, I have an idea for your picture. But before you do that, come here. Look, the bell's gonna ring soon and I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to say it, so I'm just gonna say it now. You're doing great, Nathan. All right, just please. Put yourself first sometimes. Well, now let's see the merchandise. Oh, fine. <gasps> let's go. Chop, chop, baby. <laughs> People think they know Nathan Scott. I know I did. But I discovered something new today. Nathan Scott is a martyr. He's also going to be a terrific father. I spent the class with Peyton Sawyer. It reminded me what a good friend she is. I also learned that, considering recent history, she's not quite ready for the whole picture thing. <laughs>